If Queen Naomi leaves, I will also leave you to enjoy your deceitful life with your bunch of juju women. Olori Elizabeth threatens. They said KBS is running Helter Skelter right now because Queen Naomi left the royal manor. And from the look of things, Queen Naomi might not return back to that palace. She's not returning because I believe that KBS uh, keeps lying to her. KBS is not being truthful to her. If all the information we are gathering here is the truth, because I will always remind you that these are all alleged information. I don't see the reason why you claim that you love someone. You think buying gifts or uh, spoiling her with material things is all that matters in marriage. It is not. And the Queen Naomi we know is not a material woman. She's not materialistic at all. Because I believe that if she is materialistic, she wouldn't have lived the palace at first. Mm -hmm. Because she knows all the luxurious life she enjoys there. But yet, she decided to go away because she, she, she values her pride and who she is more than any material thing. Okay, Kabiasi was able to do everything he did to bring her back to that royal manor. Now, it's beginning to make sense because a particular person keeps saying that the royal manor that KBAC opened is because of that lady, uh, the Oyotunji princess that visited. That might not be probably for Queen Naomi, but he also wants to use that opportunity to keep Queen Naomi there in order to do all the things that he wanted to do, which, is in, which includes bringing Toby and the, the twins and uh, 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 this uh, Ashley's own. And let me tell you, if I understand English very well, this write-up by Olori Ashley on her Facebook page, it simply means that Queen Naomi is in for a serious fight. And that fight is not going to end between Queen Naomi and uh, Ashley. And that is because Kabiesi have been, or will I say, is not telling Queen Naomi the truth. Yes, everybody knows that Tadenikawo is Kabiesi's first uh, son. And... He is the crown prince. But from the look of things, <laughs> from the look of things, Ashley is trying to say that, Kabi is, uh, that Tade Nikawa is just a prince. That his own prince is from the uh, Gusi ruling house and Lafogidi ruling house that history has repeated itself again that a crown prince is born. <laughs> hey! These people are just trying to awaken Queen Naomi's uh, like how will I put it? Spirit. By the time she, by the time, if see, let me tell you, Queen Naomi is such a good woman. If she is not, she knows what to, she will do, and there will be total confusion and problem in this palace, in a state that all of them might even decide to go for for them to experience peace in that palace for one bit. Because with everything we heard, how Kabiesi have taken Queen Naomi to one tree to go and take a uh, certain oath. She thought she was doing it to, to put Queen Naomi in a place where Queen Naomi cannot do anything. That oath alone is enough to wipe off, to do kind of, put them in a devastating state in that palace if Queen Naomi should cry to God ab about this whole thing. But I don't know why. I don't know why she is keeping quiet over certain things. Because from the look of things, you see this fight is not going to end anytime soon. Especially now that Ashley have come up with a son which we don't know if she's the one that gave birth to. And if it is true, Sorugesi, it simply means that Kabiesi is 100% in support of it because it cannot happen without his own sperm. Yes. So Dr. Elizabeth is saying that if Queen Naomi goes, that she is also leaving. Because it is obvious that this palace is all about how, how much juju you can do. If you cannot join them, is it that you leave? <laughs> that is the only thing you can do is to leave. In as much as a lot of people are saying that uh, uh, Dr. Elizabeth should consider her age, she's no longer young, this, this and that. See, it's better to be alive than to, to think about your age and everything. Is you know when you are alive, when you are in a good condition, do you know what she has been suffering ever since she enters there? From one miscarriage to the other. From one attack to the other. And the KBSC that is supposed to be protecting them these people are manipulating him. Ha! Huh. I can't believe that. Anyway, what will I say? I can't believe. If a man that promised a woman that she is going to be the only wife, and at the end of the day, she end up having extra six wives, that man is not to be trusted. Yes, he's not to be trusted. 
And all of this why that these people are going through actually have been coming, going, this and that. And this question, I keep asking it. I thought they said when a wife of a king is pregnant, he's not supposed to be closer to the king. And is it not just a few weeks ago? Is it up to two weeks? I don't even think it's up to two weeks that we saw Ashley here in Nigeria with Kabiesi. He does, she doesn't look pregnant at all. Okay, my question is, even if she is, so she is an, an eight months plus and she is still with the king. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. So it doesn't make sense. Some people will say, eh, they want to start dragging her the way they drag Toby, this and that. I am, it's not in my place to say whether it is, but based on what we are hearing, allegedly, that whenever a woman is pregnant, a king's wife is pregnant, she is to leave the palace for some time and all of that. Then what, what, what cleansing are they doing in the Yemolu water? If they, if they know that they have not offended Queen Naomi, both Kabiesi and Ashley, they, they have offended Queen Naomi big time. And I am sure that Kwenami might be keeping quiet because of his because of her son, Tadenikawo. Because then if anything goes wrong in the palace, it is going to affect Tadenikawo adversely. So the best thing Kabiesi should do right now is to let Kwenami go because it is obvious that she he cannot protect Kwenami in that setting. And Kwenami needs to be under a man. He needs to be married to a man who will be there for her, protect her, not, not to deceive her, not to lie to her. Not to, the, this lie started long ago. But at, at some point, we thought that she have le he had learned his lessons. But from the look of things, it is not so. Then, Dr. Lazy is saying that, Kabiesi, <laughs> if you can lie to Queen Naomi, the same Queen Naomi that you have uh, claimed that she is the love of your life, she is this, she is that, if you can lie to her like this, what happens to me? That means I am not safe with you. I am not safe around you. And all this bunch of women that you gathered here, they are, they are, will I say, they are, hi, they are devils themselves. They can cry. They, they don't have conscience. And that is because they believe strongly in their jazz and their juju. Since I cannot do as they are doing, the best thing for me to do is to go. I was working towards bringing Kwinami back so that at least she will be the only person that can run to, we can pray together because we two came from a family, a uh, Christian family. Ah, now wow, this fight, eh? No be here. You see this crown prince, prince, prince thing. It's better that Kwinami leaves that palace. Then God will be the one to determine who is the crown prince. It's only time will tell. It's only time will tell. But all I know is that the God that bring Queen Naomi to that palace and gave her a son in that palace is not going to allow her to be put to shame. I have never seen a child of God, a true child of God, that loses a battle like this. God is going to prove himself, whether they like it or not. And as for Dr. Elizabeth, if it is, it would be better for her, now that she doesn't have any child in that marriage, it's better for her to go. She will still have to see a man that money is not her problem. We all know that. She can still get married to a man that will take good care of her. Eh, guys, I don't know what to say. Oh. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share my video. I love you guys. Bye. See you.